morning, and thank you for tuning in to the Andrew Tate Show, brought to you by the GSFC Sports Network. Uh, we've got a great show for you guys today. We're going to be covering the NFL Draft, last night NBA playoff games, and make sure that you guys stick around for later in the show. We will be diving into our Florida Man stories uh, for the week. Before we start, I wanted to ask that you guys like and follow the show. Also, we get a number of questions for the viewers that come in during the show, so to ensure that your question gets right on the air, I ask that you use the tips and donation link with your question. The tips and donation link is is gsmcpodcast.net. This just puts your question at the top of the list so I can see it, and it also really helps the show. <laughs> Hello, <sound>, Miss. <laughs> Hello. Hello yeah. I sound so pathetic. I'm so sorry. <laughs> you're you're playing a little injured, but you you got you you got this. No yeah. problem. So Faith has a little bit of a cold today. I I don't know what you. Oh, is it allergies or is it a cold? Okay, so I thought it was allergies. So I was telling Tate. Uh, on Wednesday, my boyfriend and I uh, were cleaning out his back patio because I'm moving in in a couple months, so we're trying to get his place ready for me to move into. Um, and the patio was an absolute disaster, so <laughs> we had to do oh. that. Um, and so I definitely spent like two or three hours outside cleaning the patio because I'm a clean freak. Um, <laughs> so I was scrubbing, scrubbing the door frames and everything like that. Um, and I thought it was just like the pollen getting to me. Um, but I've noticed since Wednesday, it's been getting progressively worse. Um, and I have had strep throat before, and I feel like this is coming to be a uh, strep throat. So, but uh, I hope cross, fing <laughs> cross fingers that it's not strep throat, yeah. but uh, it is big news. You, you letting us in on a little, little crack in the door and the, the life of faith. Faith is moving in, making it move in official. Move in official, yes. I mean, I basically already live here, though. But <laughs> no, 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 no. There's a difference between, yeah. hey, I'm hanging out here every day. Then this is no, my re have... this is my residence. Yeah, I still have my apartment right now, but in July I'll be moving in officially. So we're trying to get all, everything cleaned up and nice for Faith to get moved into. So. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Congrat so. congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> uh for a few of our viewers, I think they're gonna be all they're all sad to get this news. <laughs> <laughs> I do but, want to uh, apologize to our viewers today and our listeners. I apologize for how I sound and how I look, because I don't look that great either. So <laughs> apologies for that. <laughs> now nah, you're you're doing good. Here's a and then there's me. I'm in a sweater today. Yeah. It was what eighty degrees? Yeah, I think yesterday and today it's gonna be in the it's in the sixties. So and you're wearing a sweater. Yeah. I wear short sleeve when it's sixty. <laughs> <laughs> That's because you guys you live in the frozen tundras of of Georgia. <laughs> that sounds so funny. <laughs> we do not live in the frozen tundras. <laughs> we live in the scalding hot. <laughs> I know. <laughs> burning I'm just... fires. I am just a wimp when it comes to cold weather. Mm. So, yes, yeah. I'm like, I'm throwing on a sweater today. <laughs> I'm the only one. There's people walking around here in bikinis and I'm in a sweater. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's something wrong with me. Ooh, Miss Faith, there was a, you know what? People don't realize sometimes it's, it's great doing the show but on days like the day, it can be tough. Yeah. And the reason why that is, is you're doing a sports show, mm -hmm. but there's a there's three NBA games that you have to watch. Yeah, That's like three hours each. Mm -hmm. There's an NBA, I mean, a, an NFL draft that you have to prepare for. And that's hours upon hours there. Mm -hmm. And you're like, whoa. There's not enough time for everything. No. <laughs> I've always said that like 24 hours is not enough time in a day. <laughs> I know. See, I that's why <laughs> I I I am pro this whole and I know we're eating up extra time so today, but the whole proposal of the work week being into 4 days a week in the U.S., I think that's a good move. Have everybody, instead of eight-hour days, everyone work 10-hour days. Mm -hmm. 
you know, four tens, but everyone gets that, you know, when you when when you when you leave on Thursday, you know you got Friday, Saturday, and Sunday off. Mm. That would be awesome. Yeah. More yeah. hours to do more things in. I already I already work 16 <laughs> hours a day anyway. But I'm just saying, just in general, just overall uh efficient. You get more work done mm -hmm. when you're working because you can get those hours in, but you still get that three day weekend, which yeah. everyone should be living for. Yes. I'm a pro with that one. So, <laughs> all right. So let's, let's dive in here and let's talk yeah. about some NFL draft. What's going on? Okay. So, um, the uh, part of the NFL draft happened last night. Um, so the Chicago Bears selected quarterback Caleb Williams of USC with the first pick in the 2024 NFL draft to start a run of six quarterbacks taken in the first 12 picks. The first round wrapped up on Thursday night, which was last night, with a record 23 offensive players drafted among the 32 picks. Uh, round two, uh, rounds two and three are on Friday, with rounds four uh, and seven through seven um, on Saturday. Um, so basically, what I thought we would do is we would just kind of go down the list of round one, and we can talk about um, who drafted who and how we think that's going to work out for this season. If that's good. With I was going to make I even make it easier because we have there's way too many yeah, players. We don't have any one of them, <laughs> and I don't. And I'm going to be honest with you. When you ask me about an offensive lineman from you know. I, I don't know, uh, Billy Bob University High. Um, I'm not going to know. I'm going to be like, who the heck is that? No, so we don't have enough time to go down the entire line. because there. Were I was going to touch on some of the bigger name guys yeah. in the draft and just kind of go down okay. real quick. I think that's the better better one because I've watched, I watch a lot of college football. <laughs> I'm the weird guy to watch the coach's film, which is which allows me to watch the game a lot faster. So I watch mm -hmm. all the major games. So I'm going to go down and just kind of give my thoughts on a few of these, if that's okay with you. Yeah. Um, so, so number one pick was, I'm sure we'll, we'll definitely be talking about this. Caleb Williams. <laughs> so Caleb Williams was the first round pick. Um, he was a quarterback from USC and he was drafted by the Chicago bears. Now, Caleb Williams, that was a, that was an easy no brainer. The only problem that was, like this was the worst kept secret there there is. Yeah. Um, everyone knew Caleb Williams was going to go to the Chicago Bears. The only question at one point in time with uh, with Caleb Williams was, would his him and his family want to go to Chicago? Would he put up a stink and say, "Hey, I don't want to go to Chicago because Chicago does not have a history of drafting great uh, quarterbacks." Matter of fact, they've never really had a great quarterback ever. Mm -hmm. Um, they've had some some decent quarterbacks, but nothing, no like blockbuster Hall of Fame quarterback in the modern era. Mm -hmm. um, the thing with Caleb Williams is uh, a lot of people compare him to Patrick Mahomes as far as leadership, leading, of, of leading an offense. He was top five in passing. Uh, I mean, he has all the tools. The, some of the concerns with him is some people say he plays a little too much. He can he can play a little hero ball, meaning he's so he's so talented that sometimes he will try to extend the play instead of saying, you know what, we need to get rid of this. He's going to try to make things happen. That doesn't work in the NFL. Yeah. That's the biggest problem that a lot of quarterbacks have coming in. They're so used to using their athleticism and their skills to be so much better than everyone else that they can, what they call hero ball, and make things happen. He's a dual threat quarterback. He's incredibly accurate on the move. Concerned about his height as far as in the NFL. But Kyler Murray showing his success, he's not Kyler Murray short, but... You know, shorter quarterbacks have been able to to show that they can that they can perform the Russell Wilsons, the color, Kyler Murrays of the world. So, uh, you know, he's he's a great he's I mean, that's a no brainer pick. 
Let's move on to uh, the Washington Commanders at number two. Yes, so the Washington Commanders had the second pick, and they uh, drafted Jaden Daniels, who was a quarterback from LSU. Now, I was a little surprised on this one. I had it flipped. I thought that they were going to go with Drake May. Mm -hmm. Uh, I had Daniels a little bit lower on my pick. Mm -hmm. My board, I had... uh, Caleb Williams is my number one quarterback. I had Mm -hmm. Jaden Daniels as my number five quarterback. Mm -hmm. Um, Again, another dual threat quarterback, an elite runner, big arm, uh, can does incredibly well with the deep threat. Uh, He's going to, he's going to be that dynamic guy that if you're a fantasy football guy, Jaden Daniels is your man. He's going to get you offensive yards rushing. He's going to throw big plays offensively. Um, he's a he's a just he, he the deep threat. He throws an incredible deep ball. Um, but the fact that he's so confident with with his legs, he can get sacked a lot. Mm-hmm. And the NFL, the players are that much faster. The schemes are that much more complex. Uh, that's where I see him having troubles is adjusting from being more athletic than everyone else. And now coming into the NFL, holding on to that ball a little too long could cause some major, major problems for him. Smart. Uh, it's, I like the pick. I don't know if I would have taken him at number two. I, like I said, I had him at number five. I thought Drake may would have been a much, uh, would have been a better pick for them. But, uh, you know, it's that's the command. The commanders made their pick. Uh, let's move on to number three, the New England Patriots. Yeah, so the New England Patriots had the third pick, and they drafted Drake May, who is a quarterback from North Carolina. Okay, Drake May, I had him as my number three quarterback. Um I, you know, I, I I have to adjust to talking about New England. When I think of New England, I'm like, this is not a place that you want to send a young quarterback to, thinking about Mac Jones. But this is not the same New England. This is not the Bill Belichick my New England Patriots. This is a brand new organization. So I don't quite know how, how that's going to affect them. I feel like right now they have Jacoby Brissett as their starting quarterback. Uh, Drake May is only 21 years old. Wouldn't that be nice? 21 years old and you 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 got tens of millions of dollars coming Heck to you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> um, many people, there's a number of people thought he was the best quarterback in this draft. Mm. Um, proficient throwing the deep ball, uh, especially on throws tw- uh, 20 yards or more. Uh, he statistically he threw for 4,321 yards last year with 38 touchdowns. Uh, things you can do if you put pressure on him, you can shake him up. Uh, that's the key. Can he handle NFL pressure? Uh, under pressure, that's when his accuracy he starts having issues with his accuracy. Uh, I love, I do like the pick if they don't rush him to be the starter. If you say this year, Jacoby Brissett is our starting quarterback, and then we're gonna roll into Drake May next year. I love that fact. I don't think that's what will happen. I could easily see them three or four or five games and then going over and turn it over to Drake May. That's what a lot of teams end up doing. And a lot of times I think it's a big mistake. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna go to number four. Wait, we're we're rapid fire here. This okay. <laughs> so number four, uh, Arizona Cardinals had the pick with Marvin Harris Jr. Harrison Jr., who is a wide receiver from Ohio State. Okay, Marvin Harrison Jr. May, pretty much a consensus pick is he's the best wide receiver in the nation mm-hmm. coming out of college football. I don't know if I would say he's. I don't know. I think 
Nabiers is a more dynamic, bigger playmaker, but pound for pound, best wide receiver in, in the game is Marvin Harrison Jr. out of Ohio State. Ohio State, incredibly talented. Um, man, uh, I, I was looking at the grade. They gave uh, Yahoo Sports gave it an A plus uh, pick. I'm gonna give it. I agree with them. That, that's an A plus pick there. If you're if you're not gonna go if you're not gonna go with, um, you know, if you're not gonna go and say we're gonna move forward with a new quarterback, then and we're gonna stay with Kyler Murray, then I think you need to get him a weapon. Is it something that you want to say, Miss Faith? Sorry, I forgot that Brock Bowers was going into the draft this year. And I saw his <laughs> name. I just glanced over at this list and I saw his name on the list. That's so sad. I'm so <laughs> upset. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, okay, you got something to contribute here. What's, uh, what's, what's going on? I okay. love Brock Bowers. I forgot he's Oh, you should. Name. You you should have uh, loved him. That's a, that's a big loss for Georgia. <laughs> We'll be talking. We'll, I think we'll be talking about him a little bit. Let's go to number five <laughs> and uh, the Los Angeles Chargers. Okay, so yes, the Los Angeles Chargers had the number five pick, um, and they drafted Joe Alt, um, who is um, from Notre Dame. Uh, yeah. Okay. I picked this one to cover because this is a Jim Harbaugh pick. Mm -hmm. It totally made sense to me. Mm. Chargers needed wide receivers. And a lot of people thought Malik Napier was gonna Napier was gonna be for out of LSU, the no-brainer pick for the Chargers. Mm -hmm. But that's for people that do not understand Jim Harbaugh. Um Harbaugh wants to one, establish the run, protect Justin Herbert. And so they already the only thing about Joe Alt was Joe Alt is a left tackle. They already have an all pro left tackle, which to me means they're going to be moving Alt to the right tackle position. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm thinking that they're they're prepared to, or if is, or if they're going to move Slayer, who is their all pro ta uh, left tackle, are they going to move him right? But one of these two guys are going to have to play right tackle. Uh, and so that's going to be interesting. There's still room to get a wide receiver later on in the draft or maybe make a move to pick up, pick up some wide receivers. When you look at Justin Herbert and you're saying you have your quarterback for the next decade, making sure you have your right and left tackles taken care of for the next decade as well is incredibly smart. Jim Harbaugh wants to run the ball. Mm -hmm. It adds depth to that left tackle position as well. If Slayer goes down, you can move Alt back to the left tackle. I think it's I think it's a really good move. Mm -hmm. Now I know we're only on the sixth pick, and yes. I, I'm I, I'm not going to try to make you uh, you know you you you're the you're the traffic cop on the show, <laughs> but I was going to suggest going yeah. to break now yes. and then coming back and hitting this a little. Mm -hmm. finishing up because we're we're right at at pick number six and yeah. you know there's a lot of picks left that's good with me <laughs> <laughs> all righty guys well we're gonna take a short break and when we come back we're gonna be discussing more about the nfl drafts so make sure you guys stick around and we will be back in a minute <laughs> 